All right, this is Jay Steger, Cold Country Finds and Wines. We are in the vineyard and I am going to be showing you a little bit how to measure sugars in grapes before fermentation. And uh, what we are doing right now is we're in the, uh, we're in the Marquette. Marquette, I don't think they're quite ready yet. I'd like, uh, you know, ideally 25 bricks for Marquette, which uh, of course, as I go into later, uh, a bricks is roughly a percent sugar. So 25 bricks is 25% sugar, which as you can imagine is extremely sweet. So what we do is we just go from vine to vine and we look for, uh, we look for some clusters of grapes and we try to get, uh, uh, if you can see that there, we try to get a couple of grapes from clusters. <laughs> Here's my little bag I'm putting them in. Clusters all over the vineyard and uh, we do a zigzag so that we get a representative sample of the entire vineyard. Then we squish them all up and we put them in our little refractometer and we, we uh, look at what the sugar is. And I'm gonna work on that refractometer to see if I can actually get it so that you guys can see it. So uh, I'm gonna put about 100 berries in here. I'm gonna go down three rows. It's a, in a zigzag pattern. Okay, Jay Steger again. Uh, we are we're standing by the vineyard. The pickers are out there. And uh, I'm looking at uh, not today's picking, but I'm looking at tomorrow or Friday's picking, or maybe even next week, depending on how these samples come out. So, I got grapes everywhere. I got a couple bags laying on the ground. I got these, which these here are very important. Uh, there are there are Itasca grape, which which we I just picked a hundred berries, uh, and uh, now I'm going to crush them up. Uh, we got these nice little Ziploc bags, and uh, they work really nice. You just mash them up with your fingers until uh, until you get down to the seeds. Um, even if you could, you wouldn't want to crush the seeds because that would uh, bring out a little more. Uh, a little more astringent acids and things which might change the pH so we just uh, mash it up real good the ideal uh, amount here is uh, you know 100 berries is used because usually you can squeeze out enough juice to measure your pH too pH is very important uh, because your sugars will keep coming up until your pH starts dropping which uh, no, you tell you, your sugars will keep coming up until your pH stops coming up, which, um, you know, it, it comes up like this and then it tails off. And that's, that's about as ripe as your grapes are going to get, unless they dehydrate, you know, there's always an unless. But anyway, so I'm uh, mashing these up like crazy. And right now I'm just going to show you how to use the refactometer. So uh, this is not a real complicated process or anything, but uh, this is a uh, basically... Um, a somewhat uh, accurate but somewhat inaccurate way to test grapes without actually having to uh, to go with a pH meter and a uh, and a hydrometer. Which, if you if you get enough juice to use a hydrometer, I mean, you're talking you're talking five pounds of grapes. So you don't want to waste that many grapes. So this, all you need is a drop. And the reason uh, it's nice to have a hundred grapes is because you get an average. You you zigzag through the vineyard and you get an average through the whole vineyard of uh, of what your uh, sugar level is. So, Itasca generally can go up to 25. We had 25 last year on a real light crop. But uh, this year we just had some hail yesterday. And uh, we got a little sour rot because of all the rain and humidity. So we're thinking we want to pick these a little earlier based on the fact that... Uh, that unfortunately if we don't we might end up with a an inferior quality juice which uh, of course that's not what you want uh, Itasca is such a good such a good grape so far so you put you take your refractometer and you calibrate it with demineralized water which we already did here and then you put a little tiny bit of juice onto the uh, surface and you put this down and try to make sure there's no bubbles in it okay so now we got we got the little glass plate down, which uh, which makes the film of juice uh, a certain thickness, which makes the light refract through it, so that you can tell exactly how much sugar is in it. So we'll set this aside for now, 
and uh, what we do is you look at it through into nice bright sun and wow we're at nearly 22 bricks so we're at like 21.6 which actually isn't too bad uh, I tested it a week ago and it was 19.5 so this this came up nicely and with all the recent rain uh, you're not gonna probably get 25 because it dilutes it down once that water goes up into the grape it dilutes the sugars back down so you uh, your grapes are still ripe even though it looks like they could use more sugar so this I'm actually thinking we could pick this now I'm going to try to see if I can show you that let's see uh, okay so you could almost see it oh yeah uh, All right, we're here uh, Coal Country Vines and Wines. We are picking Itasca grapes today. And uh, that is extremely exciting to me because this is a pretty new grape. And uh, this is, a, we got a little bit of a crop last year, enough to make about 250 bottles of wine, which sold out almost immediately. And this year we have quite a bit more, which is really, really cool. And uh, we have a, a a very very good amount of pickers today which is really nice and uh, I'll show you uh, I'll show you one of our expert pickers here <laughs> here's here's a uh, this is Marilyn Slice she's, she's picking Itasca grapes and, and it's uh, fun you should come join us <laughs> as you can see there's a lot of them in here and uh, there's a little bit of sour rot, but I think we're going to have a great crop anyway. So, oh, this uh, row is amazing. Look at them big clusters over <laughs> there. there. Are... Yeah. That is awesome. Let's see if I can get closer here. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Right here. <laughs> All right, Jay Steger, Cold Country Vines and Wines. I hope you enjoyed this video. If, uh, if this helped you out or you like it in any way, uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified whenever we have another one of these videos. Also, uh, you could sign up for our newsletter, which uh, I also have down in the description. And uh, the newsletter uh, basically gives you uh, information on the winery, uh, events, specials on wines, things like that. So uh, this is Jay Steger, Cold Country Vines and Wines in Kewanee, Wisconsin. I'll see you next time.